Mr. Felix, sir. What can I do for you, ma'am? I never thought that I'd travel so far away from home. You're still young, ma'am. Open those big brown eyes of yours and see the world. My eyes have never been so open, Mr. Felix. Well, I'm going to hit the road again. Uh, would it be too much to ask where you're going? Who can say? Well, I wish you the best of luck, Miss Walker. There's no way you could help me in my research, is there? Once upon a time, but today, no way, Jose. This might seem a little indiscreet, but I think that Hans Varlberg stayed here once, and I'd like to know if you've heard anything from him since. It's not house policy to talk about the comings and goings of its clientele, but I will say that I have indeed not had the pleasure of doing dealings with Mr. Varlberg since he left the hotel a long, long time ago. It's a real shame that there aren't any guests at your hotel. We had our moment of glory, but now it's all in the past. That's all. Doesn't it make you sad? Why should it? Once upon a time, I'm... Goodbye, Mr. Felix. You haven't changed your mind, then. I could do you a good deal on the royal suite. Thanks very much, but I really must be going. I don't need to do that again. I don't need to do that again. Hello, Oscar. Hello, Kate Walker. The weather has changed since my last visit. The wind has dropped, and it has started snowing a little. I was not fortunate enough to accompany you on your first visit, Kate Walker. Oscar, do you know something? You're changing. Change. Oscar, the wind has dropped. Maybe you- Kate, what? Oscar, I think everything's ready. We can go now. Are you sitting comfortably? Then we can start the engine and get going. I'll be circulating shortly to punch your ticket. <laughs> Give me a break, Oscar. Miss Walker! Miss Walker! Wait, wait! Don't go yet! Mr. Felix, what's the matter now? Has something happened to Madame Romansky? No, no, not at all. Our favorite diva's fine and dandy, but there's a package for you at the reception. I said to myself, I said, Felix, maybe she's got to have it before she goes. A package for me? <laughs> but that's impossible. But it's got Miss Walker written on it, clear as day. Why didn't you tell me about it earlier? It's only just arrived, like. Oh, and, well, who delivered it? Um, I don't know. I just took my eye off reception for a moment. The game was on, you see, and, uh, and there it was, on the counter in reception. Uh, come and get it. Okay. Hello? 
What the hell are you up to, Kate? Mr. Marson, please, do try to understand. Understand? What I understand is this. One, our main client is ready to drop the whole caboodle if the deal isn't tied up in the next 24 hours. Two, this is going to cost the firm multi dineros. And three, I made a serious error of judgment trusting you with this case. That's what I understand. I know it doesn't look like it, but... No buts, Walker. You're looking for a senile old creek and you're making heavy weather of it. You know, he isn't as senile as all that. He's got this creative streak. Look, drop the mumbo jumbo. I don't want excuses. I want... I've got to go, Mr. Marson. I think I'm onto something. No reception here, Felix Masano at your service. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Yes, she's right here in front of me, ma'am. Immediately. Please, be my guest. Uh, Miss Walker, Madam Romanski would like you to join her at the hotel bar as quickly as possible. I'm going. Madam Romansky, you wanted to see me? There you are, my dear. I wanted to talk to you before you leave. I didn't want you to get the wrong idea. Despite our mishap in Konkosgrad, I'm very grateful to you. You helped me to forget my life here and this dead beach where I stroll up and down all day getting more and more bored. So much the better. Time passes so quickly. One day you are at the peak of your glory. You think it is going to last forever. And then one day the bubble bursts and you are washed up and forgotten. Madame Romansky, don't be so gloom and doom. It doesn't suit you. And if there is no one left to help you out, you start to sink. Sink into a long, dark winter. Perhaps you should rest now. You've had a trying time. It's been emotional. You must be tired. When I returned here, Hans gave me such a taste for life. He too was ill. Oh, he coughed. He must have spent too long at the factories, breathing in their smoke. And then he was better. And he left. And I stayed with my memories. Hans Vorarlberg? Hans Vorarlberg was so full of joy, so carefree. He was a little simple of spirit, of course, as they say. He was a child. A child who made fantastic toys. I think that maybe I left him. God alone knows where he is today. The plane with the hotel supplies has arrived. Maybe you should take a walk outside. I don't understand. I am old. I am tired. I have been very pleased to meet you, Kate Walker. Goodbye, James. Do look after Madame Romansky. That is all I ever do, miss. May fortune follow your every footstep. The snow is a good sign. Really? The snow chases the wind away and covers the salt and sand on the ground. The air becomes purer and still. Ideal conditions for a constitutional. Great. Thanks for everything, James. Good morning, sir. Mr. Vorlberg? Hans Vorlberg? You've brought the train, then. That's good. 
Mr. Varlberg, you have no idea how pleased I am to meet you at last. I'm Kate... Where is Anna? Your sister has passed away, Mr. Varlberg. I am sorry. Truly sorry. Ah, okay. Otherwise it's Anna who would have come, right? Not you. I guess you're right, Mr. Varlberg. My name's Kate Walker. I... Kate Walker. Okay, I'm going away on the train. A long way away. Where's that? That way. Siberia. Siberia. Uh, I'm sorry. Mr. Varlberg, I've been ordered to tie up the buyout of your factory in Valadilene. It's, uh, my job, you understand. Anna told me. The automatons. That's over now, isn't it? Mr. Varlberg, the factory belongs to you now, and I need your signature to tie up the deal. Okay. Then I'm going away. On the train. Here's the sales contract. I'll give you some time to look it over. Your sister already agreed to the terms. All we need now is your signature. What? You've signed just like that? Without reading it? I can't read. I don't know how to. Oh. In that case, I'll read it for you. No, it's okay. Leave it. I've got to go away on the train, Kate Walker. As you wish, Mr. Varlberg. And let me wish you a very pleasant journey. Yes? Listen, Walker, I've decided to send over some backup. No need, Mr. Marson. What do you mean? Hans Varlberg has just signed. Everything's hunky-dory. Are you saying that... Yep. That Vorlberg Manufacturing is now the exclusive property of the Universal Toy Company. But... <laughs> that's great news. Good work. Excellent work, Walker. A real masterstroke. I knew I could count on you, Kate. I congratulate you. Thank you, sir. Right. Now get back here as quick as you can. I want those papers on my desk tomorrow. My secretary will organize a meeting with Universal Toys immediately. You'll no doubt want to hand over the contract yourself. And now that I think of it, I've got no one on the Schwann Airport case. Big trial coming up. A real opportunity. The job is yours. My little way of saying thank you, Kate Walker. You're too kind. You have a great career as a lawyer ahead of you, Kate. See you tomorrow. Well done again, and don't lose those papers, huh? Now that would be the dumbest thing. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Real dumb. Kate Walker? Yes, Mr. Varlberg? Are you coming on the train too, Kate Walker? Uh, no, that really wasn't in the plan. But thanks for offering. This adventure's all over for me now, Mr. Varlberg. Too bad. Silly, really. You don't like adventure, do you? I don't really... I mean, maybe there's... It's not easy to say. Yes? I have to go back to New York. They're waiting for me there, you understand? I understand. The plane. It's going to New York, too, maybe. Maybe. I suppose I'd better go find out. Yes. It's more sensible, maybe. See you later, Kate Walker. Yes. See you later, Mr. Varlberg. <laughs>